Ammonia is a widely produced inorganic chemical, with a global production of 235 million tons in 2021. As the world population continues to grow, the demand for ammonia is expected to reach 350 million tons annually by 2050. The majority of the ammonia produced today is used in fertilizer production, but it can also be used for refrigeration, water purification, and textiles. To meet the net zero challenges by 2050, the industry is moving towards green alternative sources for ammonia production, as the current reliance on methane, a fossil fuel, is a significant challenge. The most widely used method for producing ammonia is the Haber-Bosch process, which uses nitrogen from the air and hydrogen from steam reforming to produce ammonia under high pressure and temperature. This process, however, produces high greenhouse gas emissions, emitting 2.16 kg of CO2 for every 1 kg of ammonia produced and accounts for 1.4% of carbon dioxide emission of the world. This process also requires a significant amount of thermal energy to operate, making it difficult to connect with renewable energy sources. To address these challenges, researchers are working to find more sustainable ways to produce ammonia, with electrochemistry being one of the promising solutions. The nitrogen reduction reaction NRR, is being studied as a way to drive the production of ammonia. In 2020, a research team headed by Professor McFarlane at Monash University in Australia made a breakthrough by producing ammonia at room temperature using phosphonium salt as a proton carrier in an electrochemical NRR. They achieved 99% Faraday efficiency with a much cheaper setup using nickel wire as the cathode and bis trifluoromethyl sulfonyl imide as the electrolyte. The Monash process marks a significant step towards the power to X movement, connecting global key chemical processes with renewable energy. This development is almost as important as the Haber-Bosch process, which changed the course of history by helping with ammunition production during World War I and later preventing mass starvation and increasing the world population. If you find this information interesting, please consider subscribing to and liking our channel. Stay sustainable until our next video. Thank you.